Tesla Model Y added to Hertz fleet. March 24, 2022. The Tesla Model Y has been added to Hertz's fleet of rentable electric vehicles. Joining its sibling vehicle, the Model 3. Last year, Hertz ordered 100,000 Model 3 vehicles from Tesla in a deal that still has yet to be completely fulfilled. But it has not stopped the rental company from offering a new all-electric body style available to customers. Hertz has already added the vehicle to its rentable electric vehicle page. But it does not appear to be available quite yet. One is able to be booked. But no locations are currently offering the Model Y. The Model 3 is still available in seven locations Washington's Dulles, Florida's Fort Lauderdale, Miami, and Orlando International Airports, California's Los Angeles and San Francisco International Airports, and Georgia's Atlanta Hartsfield International Airport. Meet the newest addition to Hertz's EV fleet, Model Y and see why you should reserve one for your next adventure. Hertz says on its site, according to their projections, the vehicle will be a seven-seat configuration offering 330 miles of all-electric range. The addition of the Model Y was first noticed by Sawyer Merritt. The addition of the Model Y is interesting because Hertz ordered 100,000 Model 3 S from Tesla last year. However, Hertz has not received its complete order as of yet. Last year, Tesla CEO Elon Musk had confirmed after the order that there was no special contract between the two companies. And Hertz had ordered the cars at cost from Tesla. Hertz has been regularly receiving Model 3 S since last year. In a statement to Tesla RT in January, Hertz said the company is actively receiving deliveries for both the retail and Uber fleet operations. The rental company also told us that availability was in several U.S. markets as part of its phased national rollout. Source reposted and summarized from Joey Clender at Tesla RT. My take I am waiting to see how the other major car rental companies react to this. Are they going to pile on? Tesla may finish Cybertruck development this year. March 24, 2022. Tesla CEO Elon Musk referenced the Cybertruck during the recent Q4 and full year earnings conference call. After working to excite fans and owners ahead of the call, with comments about a future product roadmap reveal, Musk basically made it clear that the Cybertruck was still a long way off. Noting that 2023 was just a hopeful goal with the Rivian R1T and GMC Hummer EV already on sale, and Ford F-150 Lightning deliveries right around the corner. This DIDNT sit well with Tesla fans. Some folks have been waiting years for the truck, which had already been delayed at least one time prior. Musk basically explained that Tesla can't succeed if it keeps working on future products, which would cause it to fall further behind on satisfying the massive and growing demand for its current vehicles. He reiterated these concerns during a recent speech to factory workers at the grand opening of Tesla's brand new Gigafactory in Germany. However, Musk also cleared up the Cybertruck targets. He was clearly in a very good mood at the opening, dancing around the stage, providing a ton of autographs, and just being silly in usual Musk fashion. The CEO arguably owed it to fans and owners to shed some light on the Cybertruck situation since the future product roadmap was never really discussed on the earnings call. Aside from some Tesla bot talk, according to Musk, Tesla plans to finish Cybertruck development in 2022 and begin production in 2023. The comment didnt seem as vague as his previous words that the electric truck would hopefully come next year. Musk said we want to complete the development of Cybertruck this year and be ready for production next year. There's no doubt Tesla is in a pickle with regard to ridiculous demand it can't yet possibly meet. It's a good problem to have. But at some point, something's got to give. Source reposted and summarized from Stephen Loveday at Inside E. Versus S. My take can't wait to see it. My next vehicle will either be an X or a Cybertruck. Tesla battery supplier announces $1.4 billion battery factory in Arizona. March 24, 2022. Tesla battery supplier LG Energy Solutions announced it would build a $1.4 billion battery production facility in Arizona as demand for electric vehicles throughout the United States skyrockets. LG Energy Solutions said it would build the $1.4 billion plant to meet demand for prominent startups and other North American companies as consumer sentiment is beginning to transition towards sustainable vehicles. The factory is expected to be operational by 2024. The company believes. The Arizona plant will be LGES's first ever U.S. factory to make cylindrical electric vehicle cells. 
which are typically used by automakers like Tesla and Lucid, which has an automotive production facility in Arizona. LGES is expected to break ground on the plant in Q2 2022, with mass production expected to begin in 2024 at a capacity of 11 gigawatt hours. LGES said in a statement, with the establishment of our new Arizona plant, LG Energy Solution aims to deliver unparalleled consumer value in the rapidly growing cylindrical battery market. Young Su Kwon, CEO of LG Energy Solution, said, LGES will provide the most dependable competitive and advanced products to rise is the best business partner that our clients value and trust. Tesla and Lucid could be among the potential customers to benefit from the plant. Additionally, Proterra and Philip Morris, a manufacturer of heated tobacco sticks, could be other non-automotive companies receiving sales from the plant. Reuters said, these companies have not confirmed any link to the plant. However, source reposted and summarized from Joey Clender at Tesla RT. My take good news. We are going to need all the good batteries we can get. Elon Musk announces manganese battery cell. March 24, 2022. Elon Musk says Tesla is working on a manganese battery cell. There were many people at Giga Berlin where there was a celebration for the first 30 Model Y vehicles being handed over to the new owners. At the fellowship with the employees. He made an important announcement about a future Tesla battery. Elon Musk announced yesterday that Tesla sees potential with battery chemistry with a manganese cathode. Elon Musk said the industry needs to focus more on the battery supply chain and the minerals involved. During a speech to Tesla Giga Berlin, following the delivery of the first 30 Model Y vehicles, Elon Musk was asked about graphite batteries. Elon Musk said he was skeptical due to the complexity of making graphite. Elon Musk said that Tesla was working on making batteries out of more materials. Because you cannot have enough batteries right now due to the scarcity of batteries needed for electric vehicles. Tesla will focus on nickel-based chemistries for long-range vehicles and iron chemistries for short. Standard range vehicles. The potential for manganese. Elon Musk said there is an interesting potential for manganese. This means that Tesla is already doing some research and exploring using manganese in its battery cells for a while. If you remember at Battery Day in 2020. It is relatively straightforward to do a cathode that is 2, 3 nickel and 1, 3 manganese, allowing for an increased volume of battery production due to not having to use as much nickel. It makes it sound like manganese could be an additional solution to battery production. We may ultimately need hundreds of tons of manganese and other raw materials in order to get the amount of batteries needed for the current and future demand of EVs and energy storage. Several groups have published research papers on the promising options of manganese-rich cathode batteries with higher energy density than iron phosphate and potentially a lower price than nickel-rich batteries. Manganese is already used by Tesla in some battery chemistries. But it's not the primary component of any of them. Tesla has used a manganese chemistry for its power wall before. Elon Musk reiterated that a focus on battery supplies is needed for sustainable transport and sustainable energy. Elon Musk said the world will need about 300 terawatt hours of battery production to supply sustainable energy to the world. That's a lot of energy. Many other companies have touted billions of dollars of investments in electric vehicle technologies. Without an investment in raw materials and battery production, those companies will not be able to reach volume production and meet the demand of customers for the future. Source reposted and summarized from Jeremy Johnson at Talk News. My take they will be tweaking batteries for years to come until they get the perfect combination.